Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about men pulling away and uh, not meeting your needs. And so uh, before we talk about that, if you're struggling to attract the right man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure that you go to my website at CommitmentConnection.com and take my quiz there. So today's question comes from a woman in our community who says, Men pull away emotionally and are not meeting my needs. They start, then pull back. What should I do? So men pulling away is actually a pretty natural and normal thing. Emotionally, men have a much smaller tank, like an emotional tank, than women tend to have. And, and so if, they, if we end up uh, having too much emotional stimulation, uh, sometimes we end up pulling back and we need to kind of um, uh, process things for a little bit. And, and if I were you, I wouldn't take that personally. And uh, also, uh, when a guy does that, try not to start chasing him and going after him and just kind of lean back and relax and, and let him do what he's going to do. Um, so there are three things that um, I really think that you should do in this situation here. And the first one is to slow things down at the beginning. A lot of times guys will get, you know, they'll meet a great woman and they will get really excited about her. And that's awesome because that shows that he's attracted to you and that he likes you. And, um, you know, but sometimes what ends up happening is these guys will end up uh, making big promises or they'll get really excited and try to impress you and create this image of themselves that is much bigger than who they actually are. And that can be a bad thing because um, a guy's insecurities will end up coming out and um, he'll be afraid that you're going to find out who he really is. And so if you slow things down a little bit and make sure that he knows that you are interested in him as a person and not all these fancy things. I mean, it's, you know, it's good to, you know, if he tries to impress you that you are impressed and whatnot, but show him that, you know, you want to connect with him and know who he is, the real him and, and not just all the fancy, flashy things. So that's the first thing. The second thing is um, to make sure that you're taking care of your own needs. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's important that you take care of your own needs and what's going on with you because if you don't, you'll end up coming across as really needy and insecure to a guy. And, um, you know, that can destroy any potential relationship that you get into. Um, and lastly is that, uh, is that you make sure that you communicate your needs, the needs that you do have and the needs that you do have for relationship in an attractive way. And I talk a lot about how to do that and, you know, tons of different videos and, and programs and stuff that I have um, on my website and other videos on YouTube. So um, check those out. And that's it for this video. Um, if you want more information on uh, what's stopping you from um, attracting Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you visit my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.